Alrighty everyone, in this part we're going to uh, start on the accessories for the legs, but uh, we're going to do it a bit differently. We're going to, or a bit differently than what I originally said, we're going to first model the knives so that then we can model the holder and the uh, other parts of the accessory. So let's open up those images here. So let's go to add image, open. Oops. Wrong. going to get the knives sheet here and we're going to model this knife so we're going to go to this bottom layer here and we don't need to do any scaling but we do want to rotate it on the x-axis or not rotate it but move it on the x-axis there and we're going to fl not, fl not there. we're going to rotate this 90 degrees or I guess negative 90 degrees and move it down to the Y axis there we go so let's get started with the knife and a cursor to center here add a plane and we're going to hit tab and edit mode rotate this on the X axis 90 degrees and we're going to scale this down a little bit Make sure this image is in the front and the opacity is down a little bit. And we can close that. Make sure we're in vertex mode. Going to start with the base of it. Then we can shift click and extrude that there and then shift click and extrude that here I can bring this part down bring this part up bring this part up also I can add a couple edge loops in there G to bring that down bring this down I can add an edge loop in here, extrude that, scale it down, we can do something like that, we need an edge loop for in here to bring this up. Now we're going to do the spikes. So we have, so we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 15 in total. So we're just going to do it one by one. just go through each part and add edge loops and match them up with the spiky parts basically all right
All right, so we have that part. Okay, that part looks like it's just about finished. So, next step is to select these faces in here. And inset them. Alt Q a few times to smooth that out. And we're going to start shaping this. We probably should have did that before. Uh, we did the spikes, but that's okay. We can. I can just speed through this part for you guys. Then we can get the gradual curve back <coughs> by turning on proportional editing and just moving them down slightly. Same thing with these guys. Alrighty. So now what we want to do is we want to bring this off the center. So move it on the Y axis. I'm going to add some thickness to it. So we're going to add a mirror modifier. Instead of it being on the X axis, however, we want it to be on the Y axis. So like so. And we're going to select the perimeter. Make sure you're in edge mode to do this so that you don't extrude the inside edges and we're going to hit E for extrude and we're going to turn off portion editing scale it up okay, alt s scale it we'll scale it here we'll scale it on the z-axis first and scale it on the x Move it in on the Y. There we go. Select the perimeter again and then the Y axis. Make sure clipping is turned on. I'm just going to move that to the center like that. Now we're going to select all the faces in here. I'm going to extrude them in. We probably extruded them too much, so let's just Extrude them in slightly. There we go. And we're going to add edge loop there. Bring it close to the edge. And whoops. And then we're going to add an edge loop here. And bring it close to the edge. Make sure smooth shading is turned on. So that's the blade. I'm 
Gonna scale this down a smidgen. And then make sure proportional editing is turned on. So we're gonna move these guys down a bit as well. Okay. Alrighty, so now we're gonna make the handle. So for the handle part, just add an edge loop in there, go to face select, shift D to duplicate, S to scale, go to edge select mode, and first thing we're going to bring this out, we're going to round this form out. Hit scale on the x-axis, make that zero, and we're going to extrude that to this point here, scale it down. Now we're going to try to match the proportions of the picture, so make sure proportional editing is turned on. Scale it down a little because we're going to move it like so. Okay, that looks good. Add some edge loops in here. Just bring this part up. Bring this part up. Bring this part up. We're going to either extrude this, we're going to extrude it this way, or to rotate it. Bring this part down, move this part up, E to extrude. And there we go. We're going to extrude this to the center, hit F, hit F. Okay, now for the little bit of detail that's in here, all we have to do is grab this face and set it, hit W, and if you don't have this loop tools option enabled when you hit W, just hit Control alt u go to your user preferences, go to add-ons, type in loop, and make sure that mesh loop tools is checked. So now that you have loop tools enabled, just hit W, go to loop tools, and click circle. And that'll make it circular and rotate that so it's like that now you may be asking yourself wh why you know it's just it looks like a square well when we add a subdivision surface modifier to it it'll look like a circle but really all we need to do is extrude this in extrude it again turn off proportional editing scale it down and extrude it out one more time and then scale this down so what we've done is that now if I add an edge loop in here and an edge loop up here, if we add a subdivision surface, you see it's pretty circular. I also want to add, add an edge loop to the edge of the knife. and to this part here and then we can because this is a hard surface mesh 
we don't have to worry about uh, triangles and such like that because well it doesn't it doesn't bend and twist so it doesn't um, have as big of an effect as it would on a regular mesh so just going to go to our background images here just turn this one off for a second and we're gonna select we're just going, just going to select the edge loops for now. We're not going to bevel the entire edge loop, but just so that we can select these a bit faster. We're going to select the edge loops. All right, and then hit Z. C, let's get rid of this selection. Good. Now we just hit Control B for bevel, and whoops! So we we evidently had a, a vertice or an edge selected in here, right there. So just make sure that all of these are deselected. Okay, good. Now we hit Control B for bevel. Just bevel that edge there. And there we go, it's nice and sharp. So now we need to add some thickness to this part. So just hit E for extrude, scale that in, and just move these parts here on the Y axis, just to bring them inside the blade. back bring this back in bring that back in like that let me just add an edge there and then what we can do is go in here select these faces and just extrude them in now you see we have faces on the inside here. We can select, well, let's hide this so we can select those faces in there. There we go. Just wanna select those faces and delete them. And here we are. Then we want to go here move that in Alrighty, let me just add an edge in there, sharpen that one up. So that's pretty much the knife itself. And we can add the wraps here fairly quickly. So let's grab one of these, scale it on the X axis zero to make it flat. We could do this to another one, zero, make it flat. We can add an edge loop in there, go to face mode. Just like that, hit Shift D to duplicate. P, separate by selection. Tab into object mode here. We're going to apply the mirror modifier and keep the subsurf. And then we're going to add the shrink wrap modifier. I'm going to put it on top. And we're going to name this object knife. We're going to name this, we're going to name this knife 01. And then we want the object for the shrink wrap to be knife 01. And make sure. And then let's go to project. Make sure it's front 
and the offset is 01. Now, to have an edit mode, scale it on the insides. SX. Okay, good. Then we can sit down a little bit. All right, and now we can start with the wraps. So make sure this is selected. Shift D, duplicate that, rotate it, bring it down. Shift D, duplicate, rotate. Whoops. <laughs> can rotate with this one this way. Bring that in. Shift D to duplicate again. And pretty much, you know, the process of making the wraps. You can make them any kind of way, but for the purpose of time, I'm going to speed past this part. We're going to add a solidify and we're going to apply the shrink wrap and that's that. And that's it for the wraps because the, the background image doesn't have a lot of wraps in here because we left room to you know have some of the detail of the knife poke through. And so and we can make that detail fairly quickly. Again, I'd inset that W. Oops. Okay. Smooth that out. W, loop tool, circle. And then just want to extrude that in. And set it again. And then bring it out. Bring it out a little bit more. All right, and there we go. And we have one more detail in here. It's a little tiny detail, W, circle, rotate that, E to extrude, inset, Then bring it up. And that's the knife. So, so that's the knife. And the next part I'm going to show you guys. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to just I'm gonna apply everything to both of these objects. So we applied the subsurf and we applied everything else. So it's fairly dense but not too dense. And I'm just gonna hit control J here, make that the same object and then we can bring it in here and scale it down accordingly. So I think uh, his knife's going to be about this big. All right, and making a G to grab, rotate this. Well, actually, so we're going to scale this in edit mode rather than object mode to keep the object center in the center. We can fix that if it gets off center, but why go to the trouble when you can just get it right the first time? So R rotate this on the Z axis 90 degrees, and then R rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees negative. And then we're going to rotate this on the Z axis 180 degrees. Bring this down here. 
All right, rotate. And then the way I have the knives set on the background image, just like that. So we're just gonna rotate it slightly. Or we're gonna leave it like this for now because then we're gonna we're gonna add the the uh, shell or the the holder to it, not the shell. <laughs> All right, we'll do that in the next video. So I'll see you guys.